Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Really Long Battles Against Generic Enemies in Tenchi Muyo RPG. Well, last you joined us, a bunch of people were on the cusp of, you know, transforming, but uh, they probably won't get a chance to. Well, Ayaka's pretty much in the way as far as Katsuhito is concerned. I'm going to check something with Washu. She's got 64 of 88 hit points. She moves over here and uses the needle attack. I know she's going to take hit points away from this thing. But it looks like she gives them to herself. And I can. I'm not sure. But let's see. Indeed, she did. Cool. Alright, Aika, put on your poncho. That mystical Mexican outfit that JG can't spell. And Ryoko, you transform into, like, weirdo fetish gear Ryoko, whatever the heck you are. And Washu, you end up getting the kill after all of that. The fact that Washu can do big damage and heal herself at the same time makes her one of the best characters. Nurse Washu, pretty badass. So there you go, that's it folks. Almost finished it in one video. Washu-chan, what about her? It's no biggie. I love Washu. We can't just sit there waiting for things to happen here. Let's go find Sasami-chan. Okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, now you have the option of fighting your way back to um, where you started, back to where you once belong. Uh, but I'm going to load a save state where we're already there, and I've done a lot of extra fighting. We now have the option of going to block A, back to storage, which, you know, triggers some new dialogue, but doesn't do anything useful. Or the factory. We're going to go to block A. Something's fishy. Yeah, I'm tempted to launch into a Martin Lawrence Saturday Night Live opening monologue. Sasami-chan could be in there. Okay, let's go, Tenchi. Okay. You'll see now, things are a little bit different. Tenchi's level 7, Aika's level 7, Ryoko's level 7, Miyoshi's level 8, Ryoki's level 8, Katsuhito's level 7, Washu's level 8, Azaka's level 8, Kamadake's level 8, and Yukinojo is level 8. <laughs> so uh, we've only got two characters left to get, and only got one, two, three, four. My four probably most usable characters are the ones who are still have a level left to go. Well, Washu's more usable than Tenchi's grandpa, probably. But uh, I'm going to stock my party <laughs> with all the people that I really never intend to use again. So that you can see them all in action one last time. That was a Princess Aika saying in that lovely feminine voice of hers, What the f kind of party did you just select? Alright. Now, Azaka, Kamarake, and Yukonojo do not transform. So we've only got one set of moves with them that we even need to check out. Power drop, uh, I don't feel like saving up enough um, to even use that. So, um, I don't have him move to the middle. No, wait, I'm not going to do that, what the heck. I wanted to get him in range to use his area attack, but if I do that, it's going to cause other problems. So let's just make him use the super squash. pretty sweet, I think. And it kills that guy dead. His? Now this is Kamadake, isn't it? Yes. This is Azaka. Kamadake's uh, 
forte is healing. Uh, which doesn't really look that cool. It looks exactly the same as Princess Aika's healing move, because, as it turns out, Princess Aika's healing move is, we learn, more or less, to use Kamarake. Which means the only thing that you need to see for him is his attack. He is the best healer in the game, probably, other than one of the characters we haven't got yet. But he moves one spot a turn. It's ridiculous. That's his attack. I love it. It just goes, oh, just kind of pokes you with his own body, and you're dead. He has, um... High Temperature, which you've seen. Boom Boom, which I think you've seen. The End, which you haven't seen. So, um... Let's have him just wait, and if anybody's still alive, when it's time for him to, um... Super Carrot Harvest. I think that's more... Imp impressive than any of his other attacks. So, yeah, again, these guys will just bide their time, and we'll see if, uh... If they get used or not. Just you wait, buddy. It's going to be the end for you soon. <laughs> you, in the meantime, start heading towards... Uh, slowly but surely heading into a position where you might be useful. And you will do much the same. This battle is going to go long only because I'm trying to show you all the stuff that these guys can do. Now, while these guys are as powerful as they can get right now, um, the fact is the two wooden pillar dudes are actually kind of useful because they're really hard to kill. They've got, even at low levels, pretty high defense. Well, let's see what that super carrot harvest is all about, shall we? Apparently, carrots saturate the heavens and kill these guys. <laughs> so you didn't even get to see Yukonojo do anything. And honestly, I think that's a fitting end for Yukonojo in this game. I don't really intend to use him again. Let's try down here. That sounds pretty dirty. That's what she said. All right, so let's try down here and let's try saving slot just in case. And uh, I got a little time, so let's uh, continue along. Where do you, you want to go? We want to go to the prison, of course. It's the prison is where uh, we're going to find the prisoner. And who's the prisoner? Sasami! Sasami-chan! Ryoko says, Hey, Chika. Ayeka onesama tenchi ni Another Japanese exclamation. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff to kill. I don't think she'll be returned without a fight either. Tenchi ni Don't you worry. Who yeah. What the... Alright, Tenchi, they're called reinforcements. Right, they call reinforcements in every battle. Like 800 reinforcements a battle. Ugh, why did I start another fight? The video's almost over. Anyway, uh, you know, Aika's obviously got to play a role here. Um. Oh, and you know, we'll see everybody in action, so I might as well get some experience for the folks who uh, need it. Well, I'm tempted to use Azaka and Kamadake just because, you know, you know, Sasami's pretty tight with them. They they all hang out together with Princess Ayaga. But no. Sorry, guys. The uh, awesome Azaka attack you didn't get to see is basically him becoming a disco. So maybe you'll want to check that out later. I, I probably made it sound cooler than it really is. You know, maybe if I let this one go 15 minutes, I can quick win this battle. It's possible. No, this guy's really far away. Well, again, my guys are level 7. It won't take much to kill them. I mean, the enemy is not my level 7 guys. Oh, what the hell? I'm feeling adventurous. Let's go for another 15-minute video. But I swear, I'm not going to make all my videos routinely 15 minutes. 
Because you just run into the same problem you had with a 10 minute timer. But, you know, time's a little extra. You know how to smash attack. I forget what that even is. So I'm just gonna, like, make her wander around until she can transform. And you now have Beam Squall? I don't remember what that is, but it probably kill a lot of stuff. And you kind of suck, don't you? I don't like you very much. But yeah, we're just going to take the, the, the tact in this one is going to be let everybody transform. Hey! Oh, she's actually a little higher pitched when she's being hurt. Alright, buddy, let's see you transform into yourself with the different clothes. And just for men here to die. And let's see if your laser super death beam squall attack will kill everybody and embarrass those who are waiting to transform. I don't think I've seen this. Or maybe I have. I also made a monkey out of uh, Ayaka, who is like waiting to transform. That's cool though. Nothing wrong with her uh, killing a bunch of stuff quickly so that we can end this video and I can play some Red Dead Redemption. Bear in mind, folks, that while I don't record myself playing Red Dead Redemption, um, <laughs> Well, it's not true, but I, I would like you to imagine me making just as many dumb snar but snarky comments while playing games I'm not recording, as I do when recording games. And, um, I don't want to jinx it, but so far no new enemies have appeared. It was a surprise attack. Its hands, like, went underground. It was like a sunken colony, or whatever they're called now in StarCraft II. They've sullied the memory of sunken colonies with units that move around and kind of suck, actually. They, like, attack above ground. It's not sunken colonies at all. Yeah, baby. And an enemy has appeared from behind. It's where the best surprises always sneak up. And, okay, that's nice. One appeared right next to Katsuhito. That'll make it easy to kill quickly. <laughs> you interrupted my boogie time! I was boogieing down! And once again, I thought I could get it done in 15 minutes, and I'm going to totally ruin it, but at least you get to see the Flying Skullbreaker one time. Whoa. Maybe I can still get this done. Come on, a uh, new enemy appeared. If that new enemy hadn't appeared, I'd be all about finishing this in one video. It's still possible, but lightning discharge, heavy bomber punch, spinning lightning burst. Let's check that out. Pretty much all of her attacks involve letting Azaka and Kamadake do the work. And still not getting it all done in one attack. Jeez. Oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna. F it's another video where I thought I could do it in one if I went to 15 minutes. And it's gonna take like 16 minutes and 4 seconds. I got 25 seconds. Come on, Tenchi. You can somehow kill your enemy and Ayaka's and no, forget it. Forget it. Ah. It's I don't know why I'm so obsessed with doing this in a certain amount of time. It's your fault, folks. I wouldn't care if it weren't for these videos I'm recording for your pleasure. I blame the fans. Alright, folks, when we come back, uh, this video is almost over. This, this battle's almost over, I should say. The video is 